Okay, so over the years in PC and console gaming, image upscaling has evolved from a nice to have feature to essential technology for hitting good frame rates, especially at high resolutions like 4K. Now, games are getting increasingly demanding, and with the introduction of ray tracing, which is basically a standard feature, most GPUs will struggle to run ray tracing in real time. And this is where image upscaling technologies like Intel's XCSS, NVIDIA's DLSS, AMD's FSR, and PlayStation's PSSR come in. So in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down what these technologies are and how they factor in to your decision when it comes to buying a GPU. Okay, so let's start this conversation with DLSS. Now, DLSS simply stands for Deep Learning Super Sampling, and it is NVIDIA's AI-based upscaling technology, which is exclusive to RTX GPUs. Now, how it works is that DLSS renders the game at a lower internal resolution, say 1080p, and then uses a neural network trained on super high-res game frames frames to rebuild the missing detail and output something that looks like native 4K. Now, DLSS 3 and DLSS 4 can also add frame generation, which predicts and inserts entirely new frames between real ones using optical flow data. Now, the result here is a super smooth gameplay and a crisp image quality even when turning on ray tracing and cranking all the settings to the max. Secondly, let's take a look at AMD's FSR. Now, FSR simply stands for Fidelity FX Super Resolution. Now, unlike DLSS, FSR didn't use AI at first. FSR 1 and 2 relied on spatial and temporal upscaling using pixel data and motion vectors to reconstruct detail. Now, the latest version, FSR 3.1, adds frame generation just like DLSS 3 and DLSS 4, but FSR 4 now brings AI-powered upscaling for RDNA 4 GPUs. So these are the 1970s and the 1960s. So how does FSR work? It also does render the game at a lower base resolution, then uses a blend of current and previous frames plus motion data to upscale to your target resolution. Now, FSR is open source and cross-platform, meaning that it will work on any GPU, even with NVIDIA and Intel GPUs. Now, the image quality from FSR isn't always as sharp and good as NVIDIA's DLSS, but AMD is quickly catching up. So with the introduction of FSR 4 especially, I would believe that FSR 4 is actually on par with older versions of DLSS. Now thirdly, we can take a look at Intel's XCSS. Now XCSS stands for XE Super Sampling from Intel. Now it works similarly to DLSS, but it is designed to run with or without AI. Now, on Intel Arc GPUs, it uses XMX AI cores for enhanced detail reconstruction. And on other GPUs, it will fall back to a non-AI mode using the DP4A instructions. Now, Intel XSS also uses motion vectors, temporal data, and frame history to rebuild a sharper frame from a lower base resolution. Now, it is more flexible than DLSS, but right now, it is still behind DLSS and FSR in visual sharpness and performance. Now, finally, we can talk about PSSR. Now, PSSR simply stands for PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution. Now, this is Sony's in-house upscaler for the PS5, and there is not a lot that we can dive in when it comes to this technology as it is proprietary to the PlayStation 5. But it is optimized for low latency, upscaling at 4K 60fps, and is designed to run in tandem with Sony's custom hardware and software stack. Now, what you need to know is is PSSR is all about delivering smooth performance on big screens without tanking resolution or image 
sharpness. Think of it as PlayStation's or other Sony's answer to DLSS but locked to their PS5 console. Now with all of this said, just know that Nvidia's DLSS always seems to come out on top in terms of image quality and in terms of image fidelity. Intel XCSS comes in second when compared to older versions of FSR. To be specific, FSR 1 to FSR 3, but Intel XSS lags behind when it comes to comparing it to the new AMD FSR 4. So if you don't have money to purchase the new RDNA 4 GPUs like the AMD 9070, then you can go ahead and buy an Intel Arc GPU and more affordable RTX GPUs like the 3060, which are all available in stock at our shop, which is located along Kimathi Street, room 405 on the fourth floor at Old Mutual Building. Additionally, you can browse through our catalog for more GPUs and more PC accessories and PC parts over at esgaming.co.ke.